Joey, you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> What's going on, guys, and welcome back to the Edison Club. Today, I am bringing you one of the most liked deck profiles that I ever upload on YouTube, which is Gladiator Beast. This one here happens to be a top four ES5 tournament finishing Gladiator Beast deck list piloted by my friend Cole Ayers. That name sounds familiar to you. Well, it should, considering that he has been featured on the channel multiple times or topping with Gladiator Beast. So, congratulations to you, Cole. Very good job yesterday. Before we jump into this top four Gladiator Beast list, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Really just motivates me to keep going, keep getting better at the game, as well as content creation. So when I see that you guys are hitting that button, it really means a lot to me, and helps me know that you guys are enjoying the content. So, let's jump into this Gladiator Beast deck profile. Starting things off, we have three Elemental Hero Prisma. Prisma obviously being a good combo piece in tangent with Radiari, Darius, and your Test Tiger. Sometimes you probably would also copy Laquari from time to time. So uh, he chose to play three. Sometimes you see two. Sometimes you see like two in a Rota. He chose to go ahead and just play three. We have the one Bestiari, two copies of Darius, two copies of a quest. We do have Hoplomus in here this time. I'm always a big fan of including Hoplomus in Gladiator Beast deck list. Two copies of Laquari, one copy of Mermillo, one copy of Ready Ari, one copy of the most faithful Gladiator Beast himself, Secutor, whatever you say. Wow, if I could just draw any monster, I could win. He's always there for you. You know, he really does care. Three copies of Test Tiger is going to round off this monster card count. It's pretty standard. Uh, you, you don't see any Rescue Cat, uh, Sam Knight shenanigans going on here. It's very much just pure Gladiator Beast. So, moving into spells, we have three copies of Book of Moon, debatably probably one of the best spell cards that Gladiator Beast have in their arsenal. One Cold Wave, one My Body as a Shield in the main deck, alongside one copy of Shrink, is going to round off this lonely six-card spell count. Going into the trap cards, we have a lot. We have two copies of Bottomless, one Call of the Haunted, two copies of Dimensional Prison, two copies of War Chariot in the main, one copy of Mirror Force, one copy of Solemn Judgment, two copies of Starlight Road, one copy of Trap Dust Shoot, triple copies of Trap Stun, and two Wabaku is going to round off the 40 card main deck. Going into the side deck here, we have two copies of Cyber Dragon. We have the second My Body as a Shield, which I assume he brings in against things like Black Wings. I'm going to try like Icarus Attack and pop his guys. We have one copy of MST to get rid of that pesky Royal Decree. Also get rid of that pesky Royal Oppression. We have two copies of Smashing Ground, two copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device, one copy of Dark Bribe. We have the third War Chariot in the side. Two copies of Imperial Iron Wall, low-key, very underrated Floodgate right now with all of the Miracle Fusion shenanigans running around. Two copies of Mask of Restrict, and one Trap Hole. All right, going into the extra deck, pretty standard. We have three Fortress Dragons, we have three Gazaras, and we have two Heraklinos. Only cards we're really ever going to make besides the two Stardust Dragons that can get summoned off of Starlight Road. But he does have Cataster, he does have Black Rose, Brio, Goyo, and Thought Ruler in there. Just in case, you know, you never know what might happen when you're playing Gladiator Beast. So, once again, Cole, congratulations to you and a very good job finishing fourth place in top four. All right, guys, I do have a couple other deck lists from this event, including a first place Amaryllis plant deck that managed to take home the PlayStation 5. So, definitely be on the lookout for that coming up in the next few days. All right, guys, this is Mike from the Edison Club signing out until the next one.